What the fuck is up, gamers? My name is Nicholas Rivas. I do video game stuff and talk about politics and all that jazz. And uh, I just woke up and played a quick game of Smash Bros. And um, it kind of started in the middle of it, but it's a pretty good gameplay. The second one. This first one's it's okay. I played against just like some randoms. I've been getting slowly back into it um, with Steve coming out, so that's the goal. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a Sunday Sunday afternoon, and I was thinking we uh, we can chit chat about some life stuff. Um, typically, I do these political videos, and then I have these kind of small unscripted videos in between my larger researched um, videos. And today I was, you know, what I was going to talk about is workplace drama. Um, I'm not going to say I'm going through workplace drama, but I'm going through workplace drama. I have uh, some just crazy people, but it's not even like that bad. It's just more of like, really? I'm a young guy and I don't know why, but like in my last job, there was this older woman who did not like me. And then I come to this job and there's this older woman who does not like me. I, what the fuck do I, and what am I doing? What, what did I, who did I hurt? Why do y'all hate me? What the fuck? But I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. It's fun. Um, it just, I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I, I got, I, I know some people clock in, do their job and get out. That's always been my like forte. I don't want drama. I don't care about the cheese, man. Just want to be in. Just want to be out. I don't give a shit. Um, but now, with people at work, I just feel like they have nothing else to do, so they get angry. And with COVID, you know, th things are accelerated. People are tensions are high. People are frustrated. I can't blame anybody. Um, just sucks. You know, I don't know what the hell I did. I don't know whose fucking face I hurt. <laughs> um. But yeah, we are. Right. We cool. We are. Right. It's just, I'm not that type of person. I, I'm starting to notice this with a lot of younger people going into these workforces with more established, older people. And most most older, established, seniority people, they don't really care. They're doing their job. But there is, what I've noticed in my few years of being out of college and having a big boy job, is I, ha I run into at least one of these people and I think it's wherever you go, but they just have like a gripe with you and everyone has a story. Like when I tell this to my cousins and family and all this friends and stuff, they tell me, oh yeah, I have that one guy, that one girl. And for me, it's not just like older ladies. It's like it's just people in general, like some people just don't like me and it's weird. I just, I don't get how you can just be so hyped up on somebody you barely know. Um, but I understand like there's like the person who hates me at my work now, she, I think she hates me. She said, she said some stuff that made me go like, Oh, she like misses her person who was before me. So I get that. I get it. Yeah. You have like a really close friend and then you dip and you just see this rando, especially to like some young dude who like probably has no common interest with you. She probably saw that other person as like a friend Whereas to me. She's like, Oh, that's definitely just like a work colleague. Yeah, it's whatever though. I can't I can't get harped up on it. Um, but it does make it hard to go back into work. Knowing that I have to work with her, that's like uh That's tough. That's a tough one. But we're good. We're pushing through. I remember at my old job, there was this old lady who didn't like me. And like <laughs> when I was starting to leave, she was like, No, don't leave. So it, it, it's just tensions are high. People are weird. I, I have no crap to her. I honestly don't even think she thinks about me, even though she made like that workplace like a living hell. Um, and when I leave, she like did a 360 or a 360. She did like a 180 on like me. She's like, oh, he's great. Da, da, da. And I'm like, no, nah, lady. Yeah. It's how you carry yourself. And you didn't carry yourself well at all. Um, but it's just funny. It's it's uh, there was a there was a job I was working at where I was working at um, like a restaurant. It was like a resort. And there was a guy and he could not stand me. I don't know what I did to this fool. And I think most of the time it's just cause I'm like too bubbly. Like these people don't like like bubbly people. Oh, also this match is so sick. I love this match. The first one was I, but this one, God, I love this one. 
Um, I've been playing Smash Bros. a lot. I gotta start playing more. I started playing because of Steve came out, Minecraft Steve. I gotta get more on it, because this shit is fun. And I'm debating getting more games for the Switch, but I have Xbox, like that Game Pass, so I'm like, I have to use it. It's just so much games. So little time. But, um, there was this guy I, I was working with, and he was there for like, you know, five some years, and I just literally started. And he just hated me. He would just talk shit. He'd be like, you're not smiling enough. Um, you gotta lift this and that. Oh, you're not doing it right. And then other people who started to, maybe they did it better than me, but they were doing, I feel like the same shit. And like, he would just be like, oh, cool, whatever. But me, he was like, on me like a hawk. And I think they used this weird, like, I remember talking to him like, what, what the fuck did I do to you? And he was just like, oh, like, just trying to help you out, bro. Like, I think so you got a lot of potential. And I'm like, the fuck are you talking about dude i don't know you um there's another guy when i used to work i have so many of these stupid stories and it's just a workplace drama like let me just live i don't care about this job i mean like the job i'm at no i care about this job but like I, when i was like a dishwasher i had people like that and i'm like why do you all give a shit but some people do some people really like put in their hundred thousand percent on a job that i don't care about them for this job when someone goes crazy I just kind of bite my teeth through it because I'm like, I like the job. Like, you're not going to ruin this job for me, lady. And she, you know, she probably tried, but I, like I said, like, if, you, if your heart's in it, whatever. Like, I don't care. Like, the people I needed to impress are impressed. Like, my boss is cool with me. But it's just weird. Like, how do you have time to be so petty or so angry? I don't know. When I, and, and I know, like, I'm biased because I'm sure some people can't stand my ass. But when I'm usually like some higher role or I'm teaching people, I think I'm cool as hell. I think people fuck with me like hardcore. Um, so yeah, and I don't I don't understand the the like the reason to be bitter, the reason to be mad. But sometimes people like the lady who beef with me at this job, she probably has nothing else to do. She's probably going through some shit too. So I'm not even mad at her. You know, we cool. Like I have no disrespect to her. And I hope she prospers. I hope she gets, you know, through whatever she's going through. Because when she, when she like, shits talks me, she does it, like, in front of everybody. And people have to, like, like, I have to tell my boss, like, you know, this is weird. And my boss is like, yeah, that's weird. Um, I don't even know if I should be making a video. I get, I'm not saying names. I'm not really specifying anything. I don't even say where I work. It's just me venting. I can vent. Yeah, let me vent. <laughs> um, but I do like the place. I think that it does make an environment, and like if you have like someone who stands up for you, which my boss did, that feels real good. Like it feels it feels nice. It's like oh, I have like security here. At the very least, I have like a moral security. So I had jobs where people just didn't care. I had a boss when I was working at one of my first jobs, and the guy had like HR complaints, and he would you know filter that to the actual HR. And one guy was being bullied for being gay. And like, fun fact, it was, you know, by the guy who like treated me like crap too. But I never said anything. He just hated me because I was like tiny and slow, I guess, compared to his work. But um, he like went after this dude. And like the dude was like, I think he's bullying me because I'm gay. And like the boss showed him the letter, the guy who was bullying. And so the guy bullied him harder until he just left. He was like, I'm just leaving. And like, it's, I laugh at it now because I'm for one, I'm cool with the guy and he's he's doing fine but it's just funny as fuck how people like navigate themselves in like the work field like i would never do that as a boss right and like i'm trying to think like how did that happen how did he screw up so bad like that like what what was your thought process and and i think of myself like man if i'm a boss i'm i think i would handle that with grace i think i would handle that with care with empathy oh this is why i like this video I, I love this match. This guy, my hands were sweaty going against this dude. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just me venting. Um, work is crazy. Life is crazy. But it's fun. We're all good. And the match is going to be coming up soon. So I wanted to just have like a quick little chit chat, little vent for myself. And a little calm Sunday afternoon for me, Monday uh, Monday morning for y'all. I want to send it at morning, Monday, Sunday morning for me. What I'm talking about. I just woke up like five minutes ago, <laughs> but yeah, that's the end of the match. I love God. What a sick ending. Um, 
But yeah, thank you guys so much. I have a big video coming at the end of the month. I'm debating doing two big videos. One, like, fun video to, like, alleviate the craziness of the political sphere. And then a second one um, to do my, like, actual political videos. But I'm debating. But I usually have one big video every end of the month. One smaller video like this every week. So, yeah, subscribe and, and tell your friends. Peace.